Hi everyone, I uh, would like to welcome you on Cortland Park's uh, roof and I'm uh, with a special guest uh, from Alveol and uh, here she is. Hello. Hi, I'm Erin, I'm here with Alveol and we just installed your bees on your rooftop so you can see them buzzing around and they'll be here all summer. And can we expect some honey uh, in, the, in the fall? Oh, we can definitely expect a lot of honey in the fall. I think these bees are going to be very happy here. All right. Thank you so much for being here, Erin. So we'll see you every, every third week. Yes, every third week to come see the bees. All right. Thank you. Alors, mon, mon fumier, ça les empêche de, de parler quand je suis dans la ruche. So, when I smoke them, they won't be able to say, hey, there's an intruder, or something's wrong. They'll, they'll be kind of in silence. It's, it's as if everybody was walking around like this. Okay. So, they can't hear each other. Sounds good. And that helps them stay calm while I'm working. Mais on peut voir que um, je ne les même pas fumé. Elles sont vraiment calmes. Parce que c'est une très belle journée. Elles viennent d'être dans l'auto avec mon ici. Elles ne sont, elles sont pas trop chaudes. Alors, la fumée, ça marche aussi pour les pousser un petit peu. Je, mon but, ce n'est pas d'écraser les abeilles. So, if I need them to move, then it helps me get them, them out of the way. Il y a à peu près 3000 à 5000 abeilles ici dans la boîte. On va les bouger dans la boîte ici. Et cette boîte, there can be up to 50,000 bees. Wow, amazing. Dans, dans cette boîte ici. Et avec deux boîtes, presque uh, 100 000. So a lot of bees. And you can see I'm not wearing, sometimes I wear my veil, but I don't have any protection on. And that is because, unless I do something wrong, they won't sting me. They're very gentle. Oh. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on qu qu voit ici? Ici, c'est ce qu'on appelle du couvain. So, du couvain, ça veut dire que ce sont des bébés abeilles qui vont éclairer bien. So, everything that has a kind of a seal on it, those are baby bees inside. And they will be ready to crawl out very soon. So cool. Alors, la reine, à l'instant, elle pond à peu près 2000 œufs par jour. Wow. Alors, c'est... Euh, c'est énorme, hein? Wow. C'est quand même beaucoup. Et sur les côtés, what you see here, that's honey. Alors ça c'est du miel. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. We'll taste in the fall. Yes, exactly. Great. So we'll put this one in. We'll make sure we find your queen for you today. Alors ici, c'est le compose à peu près 5% de la population. Tout le monde d'autre, la reine inclus, sont les, les femelles dans la ruche. Les mâles ne peuvent pas piquer. Alors, pour faire leur intimidation, ils vont, euh, quand, quand ils sont en train de voler, c'est assez fort. C'est comme ça qu'ils font leur intimidation. Okay. Mais leur rôle dans la ruche, c'est pas vraiment dans la ruche, c'est dans... On, ils sont euh, appelés les... Euh, congregation sites okay. et c'est là où les tous les faubourgs dans, dans toutes les ruches vont aller et ils vont attendre une reine 
pour aller voler et puis ils vont euh, féconder avec elle. Alors, ils font pas de travail dans la ruche, c'est vraiment hors de la ruche, c'est leur travail. Et euh, oui, comme j'ai dit, ils ne peuvent pas piquer, ils ne peuvent pas butiner, ils ne peuvent pas fournir du miel. Alors, et ils ne peuvent pas construire euh, les alvéoles avec la serre, ils ne produisent pas. So their role is very limited. Most of the work happens with the female worker bees. So okay. whenever you see a bee, it's almost always a female. Okay. About four years. But the worker bees only live about 30 days in the summer. So they go through all sorts of different jobs. When they first come out, the, the bees aren't actually able to fly yet. So they'll be cleaners, they'll take care of the babies, they'll make wax, they'll do all the things that go on inside the hive. And it's only in her last two weeks that a female worker bee will actually learn how to fly and then she will become a forager and that, those are the bees that we see in the flowers. Those are the oldest bees and that's the last job they'll do and they'll do that until they die. Okay, and they can um, circulate, let's say, in the gardens of our neighbors of the school uh, up to f two, three kilometers? Yes, up to, up to five kilometers. Wow. Um, and if they're really dire they can fly up to 14 kilometers if wow. they're in an arid area and they know that um they have a supply far away then they can fly up to 14 kilometers it's very astonishing they fly up to 30 kilometers an hour they're very fast wow for their size <laughs> We forget that we're not the only ones that need water, so the bees need water too. And this is their little fountain and it drips down and the bees will go collect it. So one of the jobs that the bees have is to go look for water. Same, they have bees to go look for pollen, bees to go look for nectar, and water as well. Sometimes it can be hard for them to find water in the city. So we help them out a bit and give them a little water fountain. Yeah. Good, so we'll fill the jar. Fill the jar, exactly. So now I'll But as you can see, they're totally fine. Ça les gêne pas. Elles vont aller dans leur nouveau maison. When, uh, when we have the honey frames, we take them out and we just shake them off. Okay. And they fall and they'll, they'll go back into the hive. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't bother them. As you see, they're, they're very fine. There's okay. always a bee space in every piece of equipment because we don't want to be crushing any bees, right? So it's a it's a space so that they can walk around. But bees have this this sense of if it's a certain amount of space, it's 1.37 meters, they'll build in between it. So we make it just a little bit bigger so that they won't build and that makes it easier to open the hive up. 
our coffee in there. That's your beehive. Thank you, Erin.